Hey guys, welcome to my first tutorial on Rust. In this video, we'll go over Rust as a language, followed by an installation process, and finally, we'll be writing our first Rust program. Before we get started, one side note is that I'll be covering the 2018 edition of Rust. So what is Rust? Rust is a programming language developed by Mozilla that first appeared in 2010. On its website, it describes itself as blazingly fast and memory efficient. It aims to compete in the same space as C++, where performance is critical. And like C++, it has a very small runtime with no garbage collector, making it very competitive. It can also be compiled without a standard library, ideal for WebAssembly and embedded devices. One of the simplest ways to get started with Rust is by using the RustUp tool. It's a simple installation script for installing Rust, it can also be used to keep your Rust up to date, as well as installing other versions of Rust, such as nightly builds. All we need to do is copy the command here and run it in our terminal. If you are on Windows, you can use the exe installer instead. If you are running a Linux system and have Rust installed via your package manager, you may have to uninstall it in order for RustUp to work. Alternatively, you can also use the one installed by your system but it will be slower in receiving updates. Okay, now that the installation is complete, we'll run this command to refresh our shell. We can make sure everything installed correctly by invoking the rustc command and checking its version. Okay, now we can start writing our first Rust program. First, I'll create a folder for our project. Then we'll create a hello world.rs file. Like most other programming languages, Rust has a main function indicating where the program starts. And we declare functions in Rust using the fn keyword. We can print stuff to the screen using the print line macro. We'll use the Rust compiler to compile our program. As you can see, now we have an executable called hello world, and we can run it to print hello world to the screen. Okay, let's talk a bit about cargo. Similar to how yarn and npm are the package managers for Node and Maven for Java, cargo is the official package manager for Rust. It manages all your dependencies and helps you build complex Rust projects. Cargo comes with RustUp, but to be sure, we'll run cargo dash dash version. Let's repeat what we just did, except this time we'll use cargo. To start a new project using cargo, run cargo new along with the project name. As you can see, it's created a directory called source and a cargo.toml file. It also initialized a git repository and a git ignore. This cargo.toml file is the configuration file used by cargo to understand your program. It contains various metadata on the project as well as manages dependencies. Inside source slash main.rs, we can see cargo has created the default hello world program. Now, in order to build our project, we simply run cargo run. And this will build our project and run our executable all at the same time. If we only wanted to issue the building step, we can run cargo build. And if we only want to execute our executable, we can find it at this location. Okay, that's it for this video. If you guys have any topics you want me to cover, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.